Election day is three weeks from today, and if you are casting an absentee ballot by mail this year, it matters when you send it. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith and Cole Sullivan put the U.S. Postal Service to the test. When people send in their absentee ballots this fall, they're not just coming in from across Tennessee, but all over the country. So how long will it take for those ballots to get here? To find out, we're exchanging letters with different news reporters in eight states and 10 cities. I'm Paula Vassan in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Bennett Haverly in Columbus, Ohio. I'm Haley Harrison in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. I'm Jenny DePrizio in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Nathan Baca in Maryland, just outside Washington. And I'm Shannon Smith in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're sending letters on the same day so we can all track how long it takes them to arrive in three, two, two one, and they're off. While we wait, here's what all the fuss is about. Because of the pandemic, more of us than ever will be voting by mail this year. In Tennessee, you have to have one of these reasons to request an absentee ballot. This year, having an underlying health condition that could make you susceptible to COVID-19 or complications does count as a reason to mail in vote. But if you want to vote by mail, you got to move now. You know, go ahead and either early vote or get that absentee ballot in as soon as you can. You have to request a ballot, then your county will send you one, then you must mail it back. In a statement, the Postal Service tells us it is committed to delivering election mail in a timely manner. But you have to do all the steps to mail it first. Don't wait until October 15th, October 20th. You can legally do that, but you're pushing your luck with the mail service and, and just trying to get everything done. And if the envelope arrives after the polls close, it will not count. But there is some good news. This year, Tennessee has a new online tool to track ballots, so you can make sure yours gets there. People can, can rest assured if, if their ballot has been received, it's, it's most likely going to count. Just follow the instructions closely and act now if you're not going to make it to the polls early or on Election Day. Sometimes the mail has a mind of its own. And often there's no rhyme or reason to it. In our experiment, it took two to four days for our letters to reach 10 different cities and vice versa. Letters from Columbia, Charlotte, Louisville and Columbus got to Knoxville in two days. Mail from Houston, Beaumont, San Angelo, Jacksonville Beach and Memphis got here in three days and Washington DC was last at four days. As more ballots hit the mail in coming weeks, those arrival times could change. The mail can be unpredictable. Again, election officials say don't wait any longer. If you have your ballot, mail it in now to make sure your vote is counted. Reporting with Cole Sullivan, I'm Shannon Smith. Here are some important election dates to remember. If you want to request an absentee ballot, you can submit that form no later than October 27th. But again, as we've been reporting, the Postal Service suggests don't wait until the last minute. Early voting in person starts tomorrow and runs through October 29th in Tennessee. Election Day is November 3rd.